Simon, over the two tests, what um, what are you most pleased with, and if anything, what are you still a bit worried about having? Um, pleased with our bowling. Obviously, to get the, the wickets. I don't think we spent a lot of energy as such in terms of uh, you know, bowling long time at the crease. I think 86 overs the second innings in Dominica, but bowling was very pleasing. Catching was exceptional. A uh, few blemishes in the second innings here, but all in all, pretty good performance. The batters we asked to make the runs in this test match, they did that, so pleased with that. So, really good. You know, a couple of test matches for us. Stark and Hauser were still early in their careers, obviously. What do you make of their kind of you know, surge up and up and up? Oh, pretty good future, I would think. Um, you know, it's good to have those guys swinging the ball and bowling with good pace and control. Um, the pleasing thing for, for me and, and all the players and the coaching staff is we don't let sides away too easily. Now they, the scoring rate's quite slow, and that's important when you're playing good, hard test match cricket. Do you have what? full confidence that Rhino with say two and a half in the month games, he'll be Terry Wright? Hope, hope so. Yeah, he's been pretty good. I mean, you know, given he just had a, a newborn, I mean, he would have been here. Um, so for us, it's a case, we think he's done everything right. Uh, you know, he's playing on the weekend, so he's got a couple of first-class games. So hopefully he comes through them well. Hard to squeeze those bowlers into three spots, Darren, but um, how big a factor is Mitchell Johnson how he went against England in the last Ashes series, you know, that psychological factor. Does that carry over, do you think? Oh, I think so. At the end of the day, time will tell, I suppose. Um, for us, he's been getting wickets. All our bowlers have been fantastic. So for us, it's going to be, a, or selectors especially, myself and, and Rodney on that too, it's going to be a tough call on someone. And, you know, that's that's a good problem to have. Mm. What did you make of um, Motto's tour, mate? It was obviously a tough one because there wasn't a lot for the sort of middle order batting and then, I mean, the bowlers did so well, he didn't get much of a bowl. What, what did you make of it? Yeah, he would like more runs. Um, I thought he bowled really well today. Uh, had some pace back, which is pleasing, so he, he's getting there. Uh, the case for us is, you know, we want our all runners making runs and taking wickets, and uh, he did that today. Darren, one thing about England um, that we've seen in the past few games that they've played is that they're, they're, they're very keen, or they seem very keen to play a more aggressive style of, of game, a, little, a bit more flair to their cricket than they've showed the past few years. Are they. Um, well, that's going to make a bit of a difference to previous Ashes series in recent times. They'll be, yeah, they'll probably play a bit like we play, I think. That's what they're trying to do. And it's, uh, so it's going to be on for young and older. It's going to be entertaining for everyone. It's going to be an exciting series, I think. Um, they're going to be tough over there, as we know. And if they're going to play that way, it's going to be you know, the, the team that handles that pressure the best, I suppose. Uh, from our point of view, this is a great lead into that tour. Uh, and now it's about getting prepared for the, you know, the Ashes. And, you know, they've got some things they're trying to work on and do, and, and Trevor will have them you know, getting the way they want to play, um, and he's got to do that pretty quickly. Darren, you have the silent treatment? Or do you nah, I chat to him, yeah. <laughs> After all, he was coaching us uh, not long ago with the T20. But at the end of the day, we're playing a game, aren't we? Uh, he's a good mate of obviously a lot of people in our room. Um, we know how he wants to go about it, and at the end of the day, we can only do what we can do on the ground. Darren, you've obviously got a log jam at the top of the order as well, another good problem to have. Is the, um, is the, in the past, you've had a fairly hard and fast rule about having a batting all-rounder in the 11. Is that something that will continue through to England, given how strong the bowling lineup is at the moment? I'm pretty sure we'll do that, mate. Um, you know, I can't speak on behalf of Rodney, um, but you know, we've done that for the last couple of years, so we, we certainly like that fifth bowling option. As you see, if a bowler goes down, um, you're left well short, so you really need to have that option in your side, I think. Depending on the wickets and conditions, obviously. How much, how much, sort of, this tour and the, and the way that the boys have played and the, the results that they've got, how much confidence do you take with that going across to, to the warm-up game tonight? Uh, yeah, a fair bit of confidence, mainly because we, we haven't played Test Match cricket, obviously, since, you know, the home summer. So we've had a pretty big break. It's been all one-day cricket for us. So to, to come back and play that five-day brand, albeit short in a couple of games, it, it's been good for us. The tour game was fantastic. And now we've got a couple of lead-up games where we obviously change conditions, pitches, balls, um, get used to those, and then away we go for Cardiff. Are you surprised with how well they adapted to the change, you know, winning, winning the series in you know, seven days? Are you surprised with how well they, they adapted from the white ball? Yeah, I don't think we adapted as well in the first test, but certainly the second test we were very good with that. Um, we, we speak a lot about winning away from home, and we haven't done that as well as we would like. So that's that's a tick for us, this, this tour. But then we start, obviously, when we get on that plane to England, worrying about that tour. Darren, you, sorry, you, you're quick to Peter have mastered the, the Duke, but we keep hearing the Duke here is a little bit different to the UK. That's right, yeah. What, what is the extra difference and what else do they have to master when they get over there? Well, we're lucky enough, most of those guys were there last time. So for us, we, you know, we've got some pace and swing. Um, 
and that's going to be the, the, the conditions, the overhead conditions and, and what happens with the top of wickets we play on. So we'll sum that up when we get to, to Cardiff. But our blokes have played a lot in England, they'll know the conditions well. Darren, um, Dave Warner obviously had a bit to say before this game about sort of where, he, where he sits and where he sees himself. Um, how do you how do you, you view the way he's tracking and the way he's, he's batting heading into England? Oh, I think he struggled this tour. Um, he batted well, you know, second innings here, so it'd be nice for him to get some big runs again. Um, and, and look, at the end of the day, he's about making runs, and that's what we need from him.